Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Certainly. In Python, a 2D array can be represented using lists of lists. This allows you to create a collection of rows and columns, making it suitable for various applications like matrices, grids, and tables. Below is an informative tutorial on how to work with 2D arrays, or lists, in Python, along with code examples. Hashtag 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 creating a 2D array. A 2D array can be created by initializing a list of lists. Here's how you can do that. Hashtag 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 accessing elements. You can access elements in a 2D array using two indices, one for the row and one for the column. Hashtag 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 modifying elements. You can modify elements in a 2D array by accessing them using their indices. Hashtag 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 iterating over a 2D array. You can use nested loops to iterate over each element in a 2D array. Hashtag 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 common operations. Hashtag 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 one. Transposing a matrix. Transposing a matrix involves swapping the rows and columns. Hashtag 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 two. Adding two matrices. You can add two matrices of the same size by adding their corresponding elements. Hashtag 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 conclusion. This tutorial provides a basic overview of how to work with 2D arrays in Python using lists. You can create, access, modify, and perform operations like transposing and adding matrices using these techniques. Hashtag 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 further exploration. If you need more advanced operations or want to work with larger data sets, consider using libraries like NumPy, which are optimized for numerical computations and provide a variety of functions to work with arrays efficiently. Feel free to ask if you have any questions or need further examples.